<laughs> so I was saying this is a personal reading for my personal energy, you guys. But um, I asked a question. <laughs> uh, what's the energy behind the person that's a tech? or attacking or pulling on divine feminine energy but I just say divine feminine just in general just as a title without exposing names and persons and stuff you know you're worth much more you're a sweetheart things will multiply thanks a fresh pair of eyes protection uh out of jealousy you're capable to make your own decisions and you learned how to call your energy back <laughs> my dad told me to go cool <laughs> oh You might care about somebody's situation, but, um, yes, and guys, I'm not talking about my birth father. I'm talking about, you see, that's why they say them just because you don't want to lie because, you know, you don't know which father. You could assume your birth father, but it could have been the heavenly father and you're giving the credit to the wrong person. So, I don't want nobody thinking <clears throat> or making decisions based off what you assume because it's not going to come out good for you. But yeah, caring and assertive, you have to, like, the fact that you're caring for people's situation, um, I guess the karmics are going to ask you for help. And you care. Like, that's just you. But you have to Stand on why you can't help them. And you probably have to might explain why you can't help them. And they're saying be assertive because it's like if you show a little bit of, uh, then they'll try to go in for the kill. And you're not trying to help these people. You have to focus on yourself. You got things to do. And for them, knowing your situation, for they now have to be understanding. They now have to realize, okay, we need to step back and give her space so that she could do this and the third. Because, you feel me, you're on your journey to riches and wealth. And because they experience what type of person that you are, they know that you're not going to leave them stranded, which means that, you know, hey, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> I always knew you were mine. Victory is here. And then because I always speak out of feminine energy, I'm going to channel my masculine energy for the next reading so I can pull on. Well, see, no. Nope. Can't do that. Warning. That if they try to stop you this time, you know. If they try to stop you this time, So they're trying to put you in a mindset to keep in touch with them at least every month if you're not going to do it every week to keep them updated on how how much more time before they're 
able to benefit off of you again and all type of stuff like that. You just ignore them, put them on block, put them on mute or whatever. <clears throat> and um, they might want to think about, you know, crossing boundaries with you because there's a different protection over you now. So different circumstances and different outcomes and all types of stuff like that. So the same thing that they did and didn't get um, held accountable for or whatever is different this time. So you might not want to go there. <laughs> yes, good things come in Divine Feminine. Your surroundings are protected, like, for real. They're surprised that you were never in false energy. You were always you, this, then, the third. <clears throat> Regardless <clears throat> of trying to be put under somebody else's energy, they're trying to force themselves, like, you know. Yeah. Because you work too hard to get... So, <laughs> why give it up? But it's like they said, when you generally do that, you just give it up and you blah, 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 blah. But as a situation like this, dealing with your kids and, and how Mux is just trying to create a problem to be like, well, this is why I'm doing this because she did this and she lied about it and she won't tell me the truth. The answer I gave you, that's my truth. Well, I don't get what you want me to say, but because your assumptions or what you somebody told you or whatever, if there was no proof. You asked me a question, I answered it. You assume because you from just because I'm with this person, you let your imagination run wild and got you making decisions that now you gotta reap because you was doing it on purpose because you knew motherfuckers walked away, weren't coming back, didn't ask to come back, none of that. So you had to create a situation. So that somebody could, you know? So you can continue to feed off their energy. <sighs> For not allowing the devil to change you, dead in, and teach. Survival mode. Because you realize <laughs> depend on these people. Like your life in these people's hands, they play with it. So now that your life is their life is in your hands, they're afraid of what you're gonna do because of what they did to you. They think you're gonna do it back to them. But lucky luckily for them, you're not a tit for tat person. You know? They tried to get you in that type of energy, but when it came down to it, you would rather just move around instead of doing something petty and this and that. And say, Pop. Stay prayed, greedy. 10K investments. And I saw a movie that was saying that um, $5 million, but in increments of $100,000 a month, for four years or something like that. But it's like, in their hands, they will be selfish and have everything hoarded for themselves. And when somebody say, hey, can I see that? They'll be like, no, it's mine. I did this and go get your own. But had it been for them, you know, that type of stuff like that. And strong, you're too absorbent, meaning that every little situation you try to take care of for somebody because you feel like it's your problem. So, but that's the thing if somebody is sitting next to you and they're giving off energy and you're picking up on it, you're coming up with solutions and being like, 
or you're feeling like this is your problem because you don't know that that person is going through it and that's what their energy and you absorb energy into something blah, blah, blah. so then now you're feeling like that situation is your problem and you come up with a solution so it's like that person knows the solution but they don't want to do it because it sounds too hard but then when you do it it's like bitch that was you getting all this attention and for going that's my story and blah 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 So then they steal it. Mm. But your energy is what narcissists feed on. And you don't interact with people. So who are you working with? Seeing why. You feel me? Because it shouldn't be no if, buts, or maybe it should be. Know, you know what time and when they coming so I don't have to be worried about yeah, no. oh <laughs> that's a, you leave me for 